What's going on YouTube? My name is Vitamin D and welcome back to some King Koi Golden Love Rich. This is episode uh, 18. If you've not seen the previous episode, you know the drill. Go ahead and watch it. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Oh yeah, reminder. What's up, free? I just realized that the battery cover on my camera is open. I don't know why. Anyways, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, reminder. The 18 plus patch is on, so we might see biddies this episode. Or the next. Or the next. Or the... I more or less knew today's reason when I got back to the dorms and headed next door. <laughs> I suddenly heard a familiar voice laugh. Okay, my bad. I knocked on the door. Nozo. What we got in here? Oh, nice. That's gonna be the thumbnail. Yup, yup, yup. Hey. Oh my god. What are you doing? <laughs> Sobe was brushing Ryo's blonde hair with an expensive looking comb. Ryo looked a little miffed, but... Yeah, stop struggling. Once she simmered down, she squinted her eyes like she enjoyed it. Alright, chill, Ria, Relax. She was like a kitten getting her fur groomed. You obviously like it. That sounds nice. Sounded like it felt nice. I'm surprised to see you here, Sylvie. What about Ellison? Finally, some space from her, huh? Guess she was still dealing with that guy she'd mentioned this morning. Oh, <laughs> Having Rina chance to swap with you again? They really were close. I wish they had a bar like in Cafe Stella so I know when the freak to skip because I know a little bit of Japanese so sometimes I or most of the time I get it when they're done talking, but there's times where they pause for a while and I don't know if they're done or not, so I just skip. Yeah, I figured that was the case. She had kept pestering me over and over about apple pie before. We all can. I shouldn't be surprised, but these two were in perfect sync. They made a great pair, even with the 10 year gap. Oh, I was like, wait, 10 years difference of age? No. I guess it was a given that I and Sylvie or Rhea and I made for good matchups too. That was just how childhood friends worked. <laughs> Real squirm does the comb tickle their scalp. She didn't try to escape or push those. Uh, she didn't try to escape or push Sylvie's hand away, though. The fact she didn't resist was proof of how much she was enjoying her hair brushed. Sylvie <laughs> so said that she gazed at. So we said that as she gazed at the comb with Rio's golden hair through it, through each tooth. I almost messed up again. Uh, what's it called? Someone should make like a compilation of all the times I've screwed up in a visual novel. Oh, and by the way, there's a lot of like, well, actually not a lot, but sometimes I, when I get a little like frustrated with myself, I just edit out my mistake. So it's kind of like a jump cut. Some of you probably have noticed some people probably have not, but I, I do it. So uh, look out for that if you haven't noticed. Was there some story tied to that comb too? Could it also be made from piano scrap? Not that it looks so cheaply made. Yeah? What's up? As she carefully pushed the comb into Ryo's hair. She said that once more. But no way you knew where we were going to be here, like, hmm. 
また会えてよかったもう会えないと思っていたからうんま運が良かったわなええ Suri gently leaned her face in close to the back of Ryo's head. Maybe something had happened in the past, something I didn't know about. So we continued to lean in close against Ryo. Oh, we better get a.、Uh, we better get mush mushy, huh? Confidence? It was an abrupt, unexpected comment. Almost like Zoe hadn't had confidence in herself. I'd never seen her act that way even once. ね、時々なな so his tone of voice lowered. てて Zutososte sister. Demo Tokidoki Wakaranakunarno. Matasite Shirubia te o Nanoko co Nante Yonokana Nanimono Nanokasia Minaga Mitter Kono Kawamita in a bubble O Hime Samade Piano Gatokide Eritachi, you know, Nabukani, Mamorate, Kono Kawaga, Shirubia de Arcotova Wakare Demo. The That somewhat capricious look Sylvia occasionally let slip had finally risen to the surface. Shell of herself, huh? I think I had an idea of what she was talking about. That was the sort of creature all human beings were. We all lived our lives wearing this shell we called ourself, in which our name, position, and environments were indelibly ingrained. Even we could sense the shell, so I bet someone like Sylvia, who had an entire country expecting great things of her, felt it even more strongly. Everyone generally agreed with that sentiment, but. <laughs> <laughs> She said it before I could. Dang it! <laughs> so we blinked, seeming confused by Ryo's comment. Ryo, on the other hand, got what she had to say off her chest and. She must have been feeling shy and quickly ended the discussion. This woman, she'd done it with Sylvia and me, but Ryo would open her mouth to speak, but then pull back and cut herself off. With that, she promptly laid down in bed. She really does act spur of the moment. Nothing about the way she acted looked exhausted, in my opinion. Still, though, an hour and a half? That's some quality time. <laughs> Comments like these made my heart skip a beat for no good reason. But unfortunately enough, I wasn't what was on her mind today. She was worried about what was said earlier. Oh, was that it? When Ryo said she'd go to sleep out of nowhere, that was her way of telling me to comfort Sylvie? Ryo really was our biggest cheerleader, wasn't she? About what Ryo said. About what Ryo said. Her point was basically that you're cool the way you are now. Oh, yeah, definitely. She asked me explicitly. Show off. 
The interpretation for that term should be the same, whether it was for me or for Sylvie. It meant to display the part of yourself your window dressed, your shell, in the best light possible. That's what it meant to show off. Dying one's hair blonde was no different. You could even consider it a somewhat superficial action, but maybe the difference came in how you perceived it. It means to improve yourself. This was roughly regurgitating what Rhea had told me before. She was a twisted yet competent Cupid, all right? That part of yourself that's like your shell. Enhancing that shell into something more is what it means to show off. That explanation appeared to go over her head as she craned her neck to the side. Of course it's important. That shell is part of who you are. I know how you feel. You think the person you think you are and the version of yourself you want the world to see are totally different. Both of those parts are you, Sovi, without a doubt. All human beings are made up of those two sides, who they really are at their very core and the shell around it that everyone else sees. Sort of like how nobody can see their own face with their own eyes. It goes without saying that it's important to polish up the person you think you are, but it's super important to polish up your shell, too. You've pulled that off in spades. After all, you became a princess, a master pianist, and have blossomed into a beautiful woman before any of us realized it. So, so. Oh, that riz out of nowhere. <laughs> if anyone here should be experiencing a complex, it should be me. Compared to Sylvie, who formed the shell of a princess, and Rhea, who formed the shell of a diva, I was way too mediocre. I worked hard at baseball, but I was driven out of the club and brought misfortune to everyone from the band club that I had wanted to protect. I tried to show off, but failed miserably. My shell was merely that of a pathetic man. Oh no, don't say that. Sylvie, you're incredible. So, have confidence in yourself. Rhea, Soma and I both love that shell of yours like crazy. <laughs> Squeeze. So you hugged me. This was one heck of a perk. By all rights, this is a hug Rio should have gotten. I quietly accepted her embrace. Yeah. So we clung to me as she pleased, and then. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. What could it be? Sylvie's face was unusually red. Cute. This is going to make me turn red too. So as I looked away. Sure. Ooh. Unsaved by the bell. What about me? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> she slumped down under the bed looking deflated. What in the world was she about to say? Not much I could do now that she'd climbed up, so I answered my phone. Hello? You? What is it? Yeah, I know. Two days from now on on Saturday. Quinn Agin, I know. See ya. I hung up. Huh? I'm surprised you could tell. Did you see her name when the car came in? Uh, <laughs> she doesn't like that. No way she does. Do I? Well, maybe, I guess. She's special after all. Uh oh. Forget that, Sylvie. What were you going to say before? Uh oh. <sighs> Sorry. I was like, this is the moment. This is the moment. This is the boning episode. She probably heard everything too. A 70? I don't know. I think that deserves a 75 at least or an 80. Oh, she heard everything. Cool. Yeah. Look at Rhea. Not being mean. I thought you were asleep, faker. <laughs> me too, man, me too. Same, same. 
それでね先輩なんか羊の肉のロース的なそういうすごいのが出てきて What is she on about now? うわうまそういいなお姫様のうちでフランス料理<笑>クラスメートの強みまあ正直私が行く機会があったとして緊張しちゃって味の方わかんないだろうけどでも素敵ですお姫様の<笑>おあかねちま眠そう<笑>っていうことは夜の9時だねそろそろお開きにしよっかあかねちゃんって9時になると急に眠そうにするから時計代わりにちょうどいいよねうえ恥ずかしいですおどうしたリアちゃんたっく7時に起こせっつったのにおいはっ、huh? 7時に起こせっつっただろうがもう9時だぞあらもうもうこんなに時間が経ったとは<笑> For real, talk about a screw up without watching Maria's promo video 時間を忘れてしまったわ何見てんだこれ Oh, since every now we're gonna kill some time together, we thought it'd be nice to talk about something we both enjoy. <laughs> When I look closely, I can see that she generally has her face. I never noticed that at all. Preconceived notions sure are scary. I guess Maria's beauty clouded our vision. She was mad. By the sound of it, it'd be difficult to bring up the subject of Maria around Ria. Nah, we were too obsessed with Maria. <laughs> It's gotten a little late, but why don't the three of us have dinner together? Hmm, yeah. Why don't we go somewhere to eat? Sotoe, you know? Pip, 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 そばにいるオーロとソーマ君を銃撃しだすわ。That'd be bad. Scary. He had a function like that? そもそも寒い。外出たくねえよ。Something we can eat inside, then. <笑> hmm? A meal the three of us could prepare together. That would have to be cup ramen for three days. 三人分の冷凍食品と食後は三人でアップルパイね。Between my cup noodles and real frozen meals, we were cooking with fire. Junk food parties like these are more fun than you'd think. Real smiled wide while the water heated up. She nuked it in the microwave for us. But. Oh. Two, huh? There were two fried onigiri and three of us. Is there no extra package? Dang. If we were going to split two helpings between the three of us, I would obviously prioritize Lady's Fist and go without. Even among Japanese people with rice based diets, I still think the first person who came up with this was a genius. Probably to give it that toast to look, I bet. Really? Wow. White miso with seasoning and red miso was a secret ingredient. Oh, yeah. They did say when making miso soup, using red miso would really liven up the broth's flavor. Oh. 
she seemed to like it. Rhea ate looking satisfied herself. Oh. Oh. Yup, tasty. It's crispy on the outside and light and fluffy on the inside. When you ate it, its sweet aroma spread from your mouth to your nasal cavity. The frozen food industry apparently evolves at an incredible speed, but I bet there won't be any need for them to develop this dish more for a while. This was one already beyond perfected. Hmm? What's up? Was she angry? What the heck? She was the one who said she'd give me a bite. Oh, the hot water's ready. What flavor ramen do you both want? You got it. In this age, which, which, where rich flavor prospered, these two were regular connoisseurs. I went with my usual fatty chicken broth flavor and an ordinary chicken soup for Sylvia and Rhea. I brought over three shares. Here you go. Yeah, it don't go to flavor last time, but chicken soup is pretty much the default flavor people think of. I feel kind of awful for saying this, but it's pretty rare to find ramen restaurants with lighter flavored ramen that are better than the sapoichi salt or miso flavored kinds. The cup noodles were tasty too. You see? Don't sweat it. We've done this a bunch of times before. Well, it might be impolite to her country citizens, but Sylvie looks pretty happy about it. You're our partner in crime for today on. Brace yourself, Rhea. <laughs> Rhea giggled quietly. Hmm. And so the night wore on with three childhood friends spending time together. What a rare sight. The very first of a long line of these nights to come, I was sure. We need more three of them time together. It's great. Oh god. Morning, Akane-chan. I stuffed my face until nearly midnight last night. The junk food party was fun, but I guess it was a bad move on our part to start past 9 o'clock. Oh, you can have it. Bye. Hey, yo. Aren't you working out? Well, I came outside. So he came out from Ryo's room. Yo, oh, did you stay in Ryo's room? Sleep over with two beautiful ladies. I obviously couldn't possibly take part, but I wish I could have at least gotten a glimpse. Hey. Relax. Hmm? It's a piece of wisdom for Japanese summer breaks. We headed to school shortly thereafter. Not much you can do about her. I did go wake her, but she also had a severe case of heartburn from our late night binging spree. In her case, she'd probably skip. Ah, I get it. It had completely slipped my mind. Next Monday was the end of term ceremony. Today was the last day of classes. Oh, already? Oh, yeah. I doubt it'll amount to much, though. I was taking this seriously, but I didn't know what I didn't know. Okay. Since I was preparing and reviewing as much as possible, I had learned new things along the way. But still, my path to becoming a diplomat would be a long one. And then... 
よろしいですか、uh. おはよう、エル。おはようございます。I just sound respectfully bad. It's fairly rare for these two to come to school separately, I suppose. I s t a n d this ma, Kuna Yojinga h i t e s h i m a i m a s t a Huh? Or a Astawa, Kuma Ponke, the Osiro no Shuze Oenka, the Enso Saranja no Koto Kashira. You mean Kuma Moto Prefecture? 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 What the freak? You're going all the way to Kuma Moto? That's awesome. b r i l l see had a rough on a daily basis. So Tirava cancel it to Narimas. Luzo Zidonoga. どうしても明日会いたいと、修繕応援会のスポンサーの一人ですので、無視できません。Why hasn't he got hit by a car yet? That's the real question. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. あらあら、リュウソウジさん。<笑>タイミングが悪かったものね。やっぱり私のことを恨んでるのかしら。でしょうね。確認しておきますが、何を言われてもかわしてください。決して謝ってはなりません。わかってます。そこらへんの駆け引きは。適当にお茶を濁して逃げるわ。相馬くんと会えるつてを作ってくれたのは感謝だけれど。向こうも好き勝手したし、お会いこよね。あ、um,、can I say something。so we lifted her hand to say yes。you and this ruse orgy person have no relationship whatsoever。right。ええ。講師織り交ぜてのお付き合いを望まれて。これまでは応じてきたけれど、ソーマくんとはもう個人的にコンタクトが取れるんだもの。今後は講師の死は打ち切っちゃってオッケー。That's good. So this was Sylvie's way of saying she was done with him. I bet he was perfectly aware of this. Why、I、call her over now? I wondered what it could be. This gave me a bad feeling. Why? マリアに合わせるのが早すぎた。まさかこうもあっさりあちらで打ち解けてしまうとはあのマリアが心を許すとは思いませんでしたねくっそーシルビア王女一発で僕を切り捨てるってそんなに僕に興味ないのか、yes. ちょっと強引だが明日は何としても婚約話を引きずらせてもらうぞタブロイド社の来たどもは何人くらい用意できた、yeah. 金の匂いがすれば、いくらでも寄ってくる外注どもです。二十や三十は楽に集まるでしょうが。タイミングを間違えるのよ。無理やりでも何でも、僕が彼女の唇を奪う。その瞬間を写真に収めて即記事にさせるんだ。うん、本当によろしいので、国際問題にでもなったら。だからこそ、向こうは何も言えないさ。キスごときで。そう騒ぎ立てるわけにもいかない。あ,あとは、民意を適当に誘導して、うちとソルティレージが蜜月だと思い込ませれば、自然とあの国の日本での窓口はうちに限定される。そしたら、時間をかけて、ゆっくりと。だな。そううまくいくでしょうか。それに。<笑>ぼ、僕って。キスがうまいからクライス無理やりでもしちゃえば彼女も僕に悪い気しないかもいや本当にうまいだってこれまでした子みんなそう言うもんこれまでした子ってキャバクラとかソープとかと,とにかく記者の準備しておけよ Not even the secretary is convinced. <sighs> you could chill, eh? Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That Ryu Zoji guy really did rub me the wrong way. Sam, I had nothing to base it on, but I felt uneasy for some reason. Hey, Sylvie. What? About that meeting tomorrow, do you know why you're going to meet up or anything? そうね、隣町のホテルだと思うわ。あそこ、とても綺麗な日本庭園があるな。Suri was smiling sweetly. She didn't appear to be on guard in the slightest. Oh, I see. So my phone turns on every single time I say Sylvie because Siri thinks I'm talking to her. Oh, wow, what a moron. Stupid Siri. She didn't appear to be on guard in the slightest, and that's concerning. Suri wasn't right on this one. 
I had to turn on my freaking phone. Christ. Go away. Sylvie was in the right on this one. There was no need to be on guard. I was the weird one here. No, 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 no. You're not. But I still couldn't shake this feeling. Hey, would it be okay if I went with you? What? The, the garden? I think I'd like to take a quick look myself. And if it's at a high class hotel, I can exactly go and see by myself very easily. <laughs> so we smiled happily, but. Uh, oh, right. I just confirmed that with her yesterday. She asked me to go out with her tomorrow to make up for Christmas. Then why don't we bring Chick along or something? We hadn't decided where we would go yet anyway. Chieka would willingly tag along if I told her we were going to lunch at a high-class hotel. But... Is that really what you want, Sylvia? I don't think you do. Well, yeah, I bet she'd be crazy nervous if she ran into the Princess of Soda Lake. In the end, it wasn't looking plausible for me to tag along. That's unfortunate. Uh, what to do about this? I had made up my mind to try and win Sylvie over by age 25. But if I was acting so impatient now, could I wait that long? Still, I'd simply be overreaching if I were to tell her I loved her now. No, I th I'm pretty sure they're smashing in the next episode or the episode after. One of those two for sure. For sure. Oh god. It's gonna be crazy. I sure hope YouTube doesn't take me down. I'm gonna, I'm going to be censoring it, but I'm not. I'm obviously not going to censor the entire screen. I don't know if I have. I would have to censor the entire screen, and if that's the case, I'm probably gonna have to like re-upload the video, or get in trouble and not be able to upload for. I don't know. I don't know. I'm actually a little nervous about that, to be honest with you, and just because I don't know how YouTube is gonna react, you know. So I'm obviously gonna censor a bit enough where I think it would pass. But there's a good chance that I could still get in trouble, so. One way to find out. <laughs> My shell wasn't cool enough to pull that one off. Good God, that's so much. The night had passed, but the gloom I felt hadn't faded. It was currently 9 a.m. and right around the time I was waiting for Chieka to call me. <sighs> Walking around that side was such a pain, too. What to do? Hey. Oh, thanks, Ria. Pretty much. If a certain someone in a long black wig a beard, then that perked me right up. <laughs> Ria grabbed the ramune from the fridge. I love the ramune. Hey, yo. Don't do that. Don't do that. Nope. Something wrong? If you're ticked off, listening to Maria Bishop's music is strangely soothing. You can sing if you want. Night. <sighs> she patted at her pockets. With that, she clicked her tongue as if she'd realized something and gave up. Out of cigarettes or something? <laughs> Smoker problems. She chugged down the ramune in a single rope. Christmas, did you quit for the party? Yeah, I guess that would be bad. Wait, hold on. I always feel like my mic is like poorly online. Anyways. For sure. She was more con conscientious conscientious person I don't know than I expected it'd be disillusioning beyond belief if the lovely Maria smelled like nicotine Maria gives off this impression that she emits this citrusy minty fresh aroma from her sweet glance sweet sweat glance oh Jesus Christ like some all natural fruit sprite <laughs> She collapsed limply to the floor. It was one downbeat day for the both of us. <laughs> Nothing much. <laughs> no. She hasn't turned me down, and you shouldn't say stuff like that. It's more than that. 
stressed out because I can't tell her how I feel yet. Diplomat by age 25. The distances I would have to travel and how steep the climb would be to get there. All of it left me feeling down in dumps. I mean, remember what I said before? If I did it the way I am now. I agree. Oh. Both of my rebels had fallen by the wayside and it was probably safe to disregard that Ryuzoji guy too. There was no reason not to confess with the way things currently stood. But... For real. Ugh. That was the conclusion anyone would reach. The only reason I refused to confess was for that exact reason. It was true that I wasn't worthy of silver the way I was now. But I did think the biggest reason was how much of a loser I was. <laughs> Still can't do it. Not how I am now. I'm not confident enough that I could become the cool sort of guy who deserves to be at her side. It was too soon. Huh? Where did this come from? You were the one who brought it how cool or lame I was up in the first place. Second, that crossed my mind. What does she mean? I didn't get it, but then... Oh, no. It's Murasama's twin. Kind of. Probably like... She could pull off being Murasama's cousin. I don't know. Or Murasama's sister. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Chieka arrived. Looked like she got cold feet since there was a delinquent in my room. She was pretty on edge. You immediately recognized her too, huh? <laughs> These two had met back in the day, but she recognized her at a glance. Was this normal? Was I the majorly dense one for taking so long to piece it together? Yep. Absolutely. 100%. We said goodbye to Ryo, who went to sleep in her room, and I headed out with Cheka. So, where are we going today? I agreed to spend Christmas together, but then I bailed because of the party Maria would be attending. Today's get together was to make up for that. Today ought to be plenty to do go. Today ought to be plenty to do to go do some something Christmassy, like go around looking at the decorative lights. <laughs> People started doing those activities around the end of November anyway. However, check a look less than pleased with me. I assume you plan to try and make time to see Dorio since it's Christmas. The childhood friend I'd cut ties with after the incident that summer. I knew Cheka would want us to patch things up. Dodger could have taken time off for Christmas, but it is a Sunday, and our baseball club definitely has practice. Your plan went up in flames. So then, what are we going to do today? It was obviously a coincidence, but I had wanted to avoid any Christmas get-together entirely. You're awfully rude. Is something going on there? Interesting. A hotel. Next. Town over? Huh. A hotel? A town over. Oh, would you look at that? What a coincidence. Okay, let's go. Let's go right now. Come on, run for it. Come on already. <laughs> that'd be me. Yeah, that'd be me. Sylvia <laughs> so so should have came strapped and then daddy tries to kiss and just... <laughs> <laughs> Maria-san, you've been able to get your hands on your hands. 
彼女に接触できそうです。そうですか。それでですね。今日呼び出したのは他でもない。<笑> うん。僕が流したんだけど。この人、どうしたの自然あ、泣き顔らいは。どうしてくそ。そういえばいつの間にか。エルたちが隣にいない。That oh, <笑> なあ。帰りなさい。現在ここの庭園は立ち入り禁止です。お。だから立ち入ってはないっしょ。東京の場ですよ。勝手に追い出したらさ、それこそ本当っす。いやですさん。1月の7日に。なんだか怖いわこの
That wasn't even half a minute away. She looks so uncomfortable, poor thing. The camera wielding man surges into the garden like a flash avalanche. An incident had occurred that at a previously disclosed time somewhere a member of royalty was present. I had no idea how accurate these reporters were, but the crowd was massive. They must have had a pretty reliable source. I may have been a Japanese citizen who led a peaceful life, but I wasn't so foolish that the word terrorism didn't come to mind when this, any prerequisites, were met. This group was preoccupied with stopping the flood of men. There was no time. <laughs> All of you, keep away! Slipped into the reporter's mist and rushed into the garden. I pushed through the pine trees which had the bank of the lake deeper within. Sylvie! I was the very first to find his way inside. Sui was there in Japanese clothing, standing with two men. Was that man an assassin? No. A bomber? Sniper? Had no idea what would come next. But if he was after Sui. Get down! I rushed at him without hesitation. Uh oh. The man suddenly grabbed Sui's shoulders. Maybe he really was an assassin? Sui stood there astonished. He drew his face in closer to hers. Oh. Ba boom. Nice. The likely assassin was blown up before he could get a word in edgewise. But while Kyudo may have defeated the assassin, the detonation had no real destructive force. Ooh. <laughs> Snatched Sylvia as she flew off to the side. We tumbled to the ground in a good gra grand fashion, and Step Bro style, my PP pee, pee slid inside her. Youch! Flashy actions moves weren't something to actually do in real life. My whole body ached if I, after I slammed it into stone pavement. Also, why was it my upper lip hurt? Like something had... Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. Crashed into it pretty hard. Uh-oh. What's still better than her kissing that weirdo, dude? <laughs> Uh-oh. Tough. <laughs> Wow, good going, Otto. The onlookers were being pretty noisy. But as for me personally, my brain stopped functioning the second I recognized the situation I'd find myself in. Um, we were pressed together. Well, yeah, considering the sensation I felt against my mouth. Nice. Yeah, so we gently lifted her face. She was on top, so she could easily part me from me if she did so. The sensation, it seemed to linger, to cling to my mouth. Soft, squishy, melty sensation. And that brief moment would be forever etched into my memory. Yeah! W. <laughs> Bro, it's breaked up. Oh! Oh! Why? Pleasant sensation pressed against me once more. She was like, oh, it's him. <laughs> I was obviously happy about it. <laughs> My reaction that came to mind was less joy and more. Why? Naze. Naze. Sylvie, she was fully aware of what she was doing right now. She knew she was doing this with me. This is pre porn, by the way. Yeah, next episode for sure, they're probably smashing or something. I don't know. I don't remember. I, because we definitely don't have time. <laughs> And it's not like you're going to see anyways, because, again, I'm a censor. Uh, um. Oh, no, not the moaning. And then, it went without saying. That's a great photo. In the two hours that followed, those photos of us caused a massive uproar all over the internet. Yeah. It's a fat W. Eh. <laughs> Oh no. You do hear them often say democracy is the most impossible tyrant they control in all of history. Other times, black suited troops surged, blah, blah, blah. And afterward, I brought Sylvia and me to a separate room. After a short wait, we were transferred here. Hello, Sylvia. 
glance. <laughs> My and Sylvia's relationship was immensely touchy at the moment. <laughs> Smoke was still pluming off this man's hair turned afro. She was going to talk it out with him first. Yeah, I want Ella to kill him so bad. He's so weird. You didn't try to kiss her? He faced away. Well, there was no way to prove just how far he had intended to go. I understand that you wanted to become closer to Sylvie. How close aside. But I don't believe that would be a great idea. Please don't try this again. Mm. This may not have been my comment to make, but Elisan stood by silently and watched, so I said it anyway. Cap. Cap. Well, maybe not Cap, but still. Cap. He was still spewing out excuses left and right. It wasn't like I didn't get what he was saying, but... That stuff doesn't make a lick of sense to me, but you really should stop making excuses. You probably had a reason for all the crap you pulled. Even if that were the case, your methods were way off base. You wanted to get closer to Sylvie, you should have just said so from the beginning. <laughs> Otherwise, how should I put this? It's really lame. If you want to win a girl's goodwill, you aim to be cool first, if you ask me. Oh yeah, give him a lesson. Uh, not trying to lecture you or anything. My statement was a bit high in my sounding. It also hurt knowing how my rant could just as easily be applied to me. Hey, still gotta kiss her. Apology not accepted. The man bowed his head to me for some reason. Other son stepped between us. Oh, I'm sorry, Ale. I'm sorry. ぐうぜんしくにいた少年と接触転倒。その際に学部を強く打ちましたが、怪我はなし。運悪く Please do the laugh, please. Please, please, do the laugh. No! He didn't do the laugh. He took him away. Okay, with that out of the way. Mommy? No, not mommy. That's Reina. I don't know if Reina's route is going to be any good, but I will tell you right now that Reina, since the beginning, has always been up there for me, to be honest with you. Not that I don't like Sylvie, though. There was one significantly larger issue remaining. Yeah. That was... Yeah. It was an accident, but it didn't change the fact that it happened. Uh-huh. Accident. So she looked up at you and was like, Oh, that's my boy. And then she started, like, swallowing your face again. Like, yeah, okay, that was an accident. Mm -hmm. So we had been frazzled ever, frazzled ever since earlier? What? You could have just said bamboozled. I guess even a kiss, which was on par with a greeting in foreign countries, was different when it was on the lips. Well, don't worry about it. Our mouths just popped together. That's all. Yeah. Nice. And you did it twice. Simply look... I just realized that rhyme. Simply looking her in the eye instantly drove her into a panic. I felt the same way, so I totally understood. When... Hey, check her. Check her. Uh, uh, check her who I was driving away from at the hotel was brought in by the black suits. Yeah, that's our homie. No need, big bitty other. It's okay. 
あ,あうんちょちょどどうなってるのオロ君ここどこなんでソルティレージュの領事館に What a worry, why? てかあの人ってシルビア王女はじ<笑><笑>めましてシュカさんよねオーロから話は伺ってるわ<笑>私のこと知ってくれてる<笑>ええ知ってるオーロのとても大事な女の子うまあ大事にはされてますけどあはごめんなさいゆっくり挨拶したいけれどこの後用事があって She's all over the place. 二人はあのホテルに用があるのでしょ戻った方がいいわエキスナお送りしてはい、right. <laughs> So we appear to be on the verge of tears as she looked between me and Cheka Why? I thought it was strange until we finally made eye contact. <laughs> yeah? Sylvie? Um. What's up with Sylvia? <laughs> Hello? Hey, Sylvie. And for whatever reason, she suddenly broke into a sprint. I quickly chased after her. What? <laughs> ご命令されたのだ追いかけるしかあるまいあ,あはい急ぐ必要はありませんが Wait 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 な,なんで追ってくるのよ<笑> Because you're running away obviously Hold up a sec Sylvie And hey you're fast Were you always this quick on your feet? I was running at top speed and she was still faster than me And wearing heels Whoa, that's wild. Had there been any point in me running off with her in my arms that very first day we met? Probably not. Aside from the fact it brought us together. I said, wait. <laughs> Ways. Ways. <gasps> For who knows what reason. <laughs> we were in sync. We had both dashed at full strength, so I was nearly out of stamina. The first I could make it. Uh huh. Oh no. Was here. <laughs> Both slumped to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all like the sound effects? I do. But why did you run away? <laughs> We'd been repeating the same argument since earlier. It was pointless for Silva to run away, and equally pointless for me to follow her. If I had to say, it was because we wanted to come here. We wanted to be alone. I guess that about covered it. <sighs> uh, I know. Sylvie, let me say something first. <gasps> that wasn't your first kiss. <gasps> you know it wasn't. Huh? <sighs> What are you talking about? Ten years ago? We're gonna stop right there. Yes. Oh, wait. There we go. So next episode, they're definitely going to be clapping uglies together. Um, <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be fun. And when I mean fun, I'm probably going to be extremely, extremely uncomfortable. We're watching porn, then I guess. I, I don't know. Anyways. Um, yeah, we got to wrap it up. Okay, all that wraps up episode 18 of King Koi. Man, I'm having a blast with this visual novel. It's fun. It was a fun episode, I think. I thought it was fun. I thought it was freaking fun. But again, they're definitely going to be smashing next episode. And again, I'm nervous because I don't know how YouTube's going to take it. I'm going to blur whatever I think I, you know. I obviously don't want to blur the entire screen either, you know. But I'll blur what I think passes and hopefully it passes, you know. I don't want to get my channel taken down or my video or anything. Uh, so uh, uh, good luck on me on that. <clears throat> again, this episode for me was fun. I thought it was fun. I am... Uh, I have no words, any other words for this episode. I mean, it was a good episode, but like, I just don't know what else to say. <laughs> I don't, I don't. But I'm so glad that Ryu's OG guy got sent the, you know, the Shadow Realm, kind of, because he's a weirdo. He's really weird. You know what's crazy too? There's people like that in real life. Ugh. Anyways, 
that's all I got to say about this episode. I'm sorry. I got I got nothing. All I have to say was that it was a good episode and I had fun. And I hope you did too. And I hope you did enjoy this episode as well as much as I did. And if you did, let me know by hitting that like, that lick. And subscribe if you made it this far and you haven't already subscribed. You know, if you made it this far, it's been in like an hour in. Why haven't you subscribed? Seriously, what are you waiting for? Do that right now. Share this video with your homies. Share this channel with your homies. Help me blow up. Help me get to a thousand subscribers. Let's get there. You know what? I don't even want to blow up. I just want to have enough to live. I wouldn't have enough to survive, so I won't have to slave it as much at work. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. And I'm looking forward to the next episode. And at the same time, I'm not because I don't know what's going to happen. And one more thing that I have to say. Oh, yes. If you want to see any more visual novels or any other types of game or any other types of games, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit me up on the social medias, Discord, Instagram. It's on the channel link thing. No channel, somewhere on the channel. That's all I'll say. Or on the comment section below, however you want. It really doesn't matter as long as I see it. Also, <clears throat> also I wanted to remind you that this week we're gonna start your turn to die again. Hopefully the final act, so we could finish it up once and for all. Because I started it what like two years ago, maybe even more now. I don't even know, and I haven't touched it anymore. But only because I thought that was over until I, you know that other episode, the last episode I played on your turn to die. I thought you know, oh uh, it's over. How am I gonna? Play the final act. I don't know where to get it. And then I searched it up in Steam, and it was there. And I was like, "Oh, okay." It's been on Steam this entire time, and I, uh, I didn't know. Well, that's crazy. Anyways, I'm done ranting. <laughs> Once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for making it start. I really do appreciate it. It really means the world to me. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. As always, y'all stay safe. And until next time, fellas.